Hi, everyone. In this clip, I'll introduce you the concept smart energy, smart grids, and urban flows, and how they factor into an urban energy transition. So what would it take for a city like Amsterdam to become a low-carbon city? You might imagine local energy generation, local fuels for mobility, local heating, etc. In other words, decentralized energy solutions. In an urban environment like Amsterdam, such solutions are complex challenges, given the wide variety of activities in a city. Let's start with a key challenge regarding electricity. Local energy generation, for example, by solar panels on roofs, would mean that Amsterdam's electricity grid will face an increasing two-way flow of electricity. The electrification of mobility and heat means that electric cars and heating systems will play, place an additional burden on the existing grid. If the discrepancy between demand and supply becomes too great, there could be blackouts. This is where the smart grid concept comes in. An urban smart grid relies on ICT and advanced metering infrastructure. Smart meters are a key player in obtaining real-time information about electricity flows and balancing supply and demand. Intelligently managing electricity flows in a city like Amsterdam would be one important step in the transition to a low-carbon city. Yet more gains can be made by linking flows of electricity to other urban flows, such as traffic or waste heat from industry. Smart energy implies high-tech solutions for linking local energy supply to local demand for mobility, heating, and other urban practices. Each have their own rhythm. For example, we can look at households. Electricity demand is typically high in the evening, heat demand in winter, and mobility after and before working hours. Energy supply at the same time has its own rhythms as well. This means that smart solutions are needed to store energy, to convert it to different forms, and to match supply and demand in real time. These high-tech, digital technology-driven solutions have implications for established practices and roles of citizens and other stakeholders in the energy system. How does the management of energy flows impact the lives of citizens or the operation of businesses? Will professionals in the electricity sector, in heat provision, mobility, and ICT step outside of their usual boundaries and to form new alliances? And in what ways do citizens co-determine the character and operation of a smarter urban energy system? These questions show that technological and social change in the urban energy system are tied up with each other. Now, what does this video show you? Firstly, smart energy solutions rely on ICT to, to measure and manage urban energy flows. Secondly, connecting these flows is promising for urban sustainability. However, in a city like Amsterdam, many different activities take place. Linking urban flows has potentially far-reaching implications for daily urban rhythms, as well as the roles and practices of householders, urban managers, and other actors. So, to become a low-carbon city, Amsterdam needs an energy transition that is not only technological, but social and political as well.